Hello, folks. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. So in the latest Fox News poll, 90% said inflation is the top voter concern. And when it comes to Joe Biden's handling of the economy, he gets a 35% approval compared to a 64% disapproval. So in this poll, voters are saying, here's the problem, but Mr. Biden is not the solution. In fact, they're saying he's part of the problem. By the way, although the overall inflation rate has come down in recent months, the fact remains, since a month after Mr. Biden's inauguration, the consumer price index has gone up over 14 percent, with groceries up nearly 20 percent. And although gas prices have eased recently, in total, energy costs are up 32 percent. Now, government bureaucrats can talk about inflation excluding food and energy. But the reality is food and energy are essentials to the cost of living for families all across the country. And so, therefore, it's odd that Mr. Biden refuses to sit down with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy to talk about lower federal spending, which is one of the primary causes of high inflation. In fact, Mr. Biden's own Council of Economic Advisers published this chart showing that the 2021 Biden Democratic stimulus package sparked inflation. Check it out. So have a bunch of bills passed in the last two years, including the misnamed Inflation Reduction Act, which has recently been re-estimated by Wall Street firm Goldman Sachs to cost $1.2 trillion, roughly three times the administration's <laughs> estimates. And of course, Biden tax and regulatory increases including his war against fossil fuels, all that has suppressed the supply side or the production side of the economy, which is another factor causing high inflation. In fact, you can see how manufacturing has been dropping lately. And then Mr. Biden's latest budget would increase deficits by at least $17 trillion over the next 10 years, would raise taxes on economy's most successful and productive entrepreneurs while intensifying his war against small business. So, today, at a press conference, Speaker Kevin McCarthy sadly had this to say. I sat down with the president on February 1st. We had a good discussion. He said he wanted to meet further. He actually tweeted out afterwards that he wanted to have further discussions. He apparently doesn't want to meet, and I don't understand why. We were very reasonable, responsible. Well, there you have it. Mr. Biden apparently doesn't want a second date with the likable Kevin McCarthy. I don't get it. But they're going to need a second date to hammer out a debt bill, which will include probably something like a 10-year budget cap, might come to roughly a trillion dollars. It would have a Constitution-backed halt to the student loan cancellation. The just-passed H.R. 1 Lower Energy Cost Act, which is strongly counterinflationary, and a renewal of the Bill Clinton, Newt Gingrich work requirements that would bring people off of government benefits and back to the workplace cutting the budget by maybe $100 billion a year, and reducing child poverty. What's not to like about that? This is a sensible, reasonable approach that will do what voters clearly want, which is to reduce the cost of living and increase the purchasing power of their paychecks. Well, President Biden says he wants a so-called clean bill. Well, he's not going to get it. This, by the way, is the Bernie Sanders version of Joe Biden. Because back in 2011... Joe Biden was the Obama administration's point man for a deal with then House Speaker John Boehner to install roughly a trillion dollars of spending caps as part of a debt bill. Mr. President, you did it then, you can do it now. All it takes is another couple of meetings with House Speaker McCarthy. You will enjoy these dates. Maybe a nice dinner, go to a movie, a Diet Coke in the Oval, whatever. <laughs> But if you remain stubbornly opposed to any sort of compromise deal, well, voters are saying you're going to have to, you're going to make them even unhappier at your economic performance than they already are. And trust me, sir, these folks right now are not happy campers. Wow, that's my riff.